Following up with a question from online, this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about one of the details of modulating feed water. When we've got a modulating feed water valve, what we're going to see is it react proportionally to the water level in the boiler. And upstream of the modulating feed water valve, we've got the discharge pressure from our pump. So at a minimum demand, when this valve is mostly closed, we'll approach the maximum possible pressure on the outlet of that pump. So in this case, we've actually got a recirculation line at the pump to ensure some flow, even though this is closed. As this valve opens up, we've got more flow and the pressure coming to the modulating valve is actually going to drop because of line losses between the pump and here and because that flow is increasing. So this pressure is going to vary according to the valve position. If we want a more constant pressure there, we could add a pressure transmitter and a frequency drive on the pump. In that case, we'd be able to accelerate or decelerate the pump according to this demand. And on a installation where we've just got one boiler, one pump with modulating feed control, with a VFD, we may not even need this valve. We can simply throttle the pump up and down. But in sites where we've got multiple boilers pulling off the same pump, we're generally going to either run that pump at a constant speed or modulate it based on a certain pressure outlet. 